Hello and welcome to another MessageBird developer tutorial. Today we'll show you how to build SMS appointment reminders with MessageBird's SMS API using PHP. You can either walk through the tutorial with us here or get started now by downloading the sample application in the MessageBird developers portal using the link in the description. To get started, let's open a console pointed at the directory into which we've stored the sample application. We can now run composer install to install the dependencies defined in the composer JSON file. The dependencies include the MessageBird SDK, which is used to access MessageBird's APIs, as well as the Slim framework, the Twig templating engine, and the .env configuration library. Let's head over to the index.php file. First, we need to enable Composer autoloading. Next, we can initialize the MessageBird SDK by creating an instance of the MessageBird client class. The constructor takes a single argument, an API key. For our Slim-based example, we add the SDK on the dependency injection container. We use getEnv to load the API key from an environment variable. To do this, we need to first initialize .env, and then we add the key to a .env file. The sample repository contains an env example file, which we copy to .env, and enter the required information. You can create or retrieve your API key on the MessageBird dashboard. We use two other environment variables as part of the application's configuration, the country code, which will later help us understand the user's phone number, and the time zone, so we can make time calculations within the correct time zone. To send our SMS reminders, we collect our user's phone numbers during the appointment booking process. The form, which you can see in View's home, will ask for the name, desired treatment, contact number, and date and time of their appointment. To show the form, there's the get slash root in index.php. It prefills date and time with a default value. After submission, the user's input goes to the post book route. So let's check our user's input. We assign the parsed request body to an array to make this easier. Then, we validate that the user has entered a value for every field in the form. If they haven't, we show the form again with an error message. Next, we'll check the appointment using PHP's date time object. To allow enough time for a helpful reminder, the earliest possible date is at least three hours and five minutes in the future. Of course, you can change this to meet the needs of your specific use case. If the time that the user has entered is earlier, we'll show an error message. Now let's check our user's phone number. We can perform this with MessageBird's Lookup API, which takes a phone number entered by a user, validates the format, and returns information about the number, such as whether it's a mobile or fixed line number. It understands various formats for writing phone numbers. On the SDK object, which we can get from the container through this MessageBird, we can call Lookup Red. That function takes two arguments, the phone number and a default country code, which enables users to write the number in a local format without prefix. We use the country code environment variable defined earlier. There are four different cases we need to handle. If MessageBird was unable to parse the phone number because the user has entered an invalid value, we're using a catch block to intercept a request exception and show an error. If another fault occurred in the API, there's a second catch block to intercept a generic exception. If no exception was caught, our application calls lookup response get type and checks the value. Any result other than mobile causes an error. The fourth case, we do have a valid number, so let's schedule the reminder. We take the appointment date and time and subtract three hours to determine the time for sending the notification. Next, we prepare a message object that we can send through the API. Let's look at its attributes. The originator is the sender ID, a mobile number, or in our use case, an alphanumeric ID. For recipients, we use the normalized number returned from the lookup API and provide it as an array. The scheduled date time instructs MessageBird to send the message not immediately, but at the previously defined timestamp. With format C, we make sure the API can read this timestamp correctly. Body is the text of the message. We can send this object with the messages create method in the MessageBird SDK contained in a try catchbook block to report errors. In a real application, this is where you would store the appointment in a database, but we've omitted this part for the example. Finally, there's a confirmation page in views confirm. You can test the application with PHP's built-in web server. Enter the following PHP command on the console to start the application. Let's point our browser to localhost and schedule an appointment. And that's it. Nice work. We've just built an SMS appointment reminder system using the MessageBird SMS API. That concludes our tutorial. For more guides on how to build communication solutions with our SMS voice and chat APIs, please visit the MessageBird YouTube channel and developer portal. Thanks for listening.